This is the Quiddy Tech iMates. And I'm gonna show you how this runs, functions, and if you should get it for yourself. Let's get started. This comes in a really nice package. I bought this off of Amazon and it only came for $3.99. So that's a really good price for this size of a printer. This should be an easy assembly, but I will walk you through the process of what comes in the box and how this works. Looks like there's some manuals and looks like some there's some build plates, but I'll show you this right now actually. Allen wrench. A manual in a different language. Yeah, I don't know what this does. A guide that I read through. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it helps. Screen functions and how to set up the Wi-Fi that's included into the printer. I'll talk about that later. More guides about the quality of the prints. And an extra build plate. I have another one of these machines from Quiddy Tech, and these build plates are amazing. They stick great and pop off easily. So make sure you don't scrape them too hard and get all the, you know, covering off that makes it really stick. But uh, yeah, these are really, really good. Now let's dive in to this printer that I think is going to be really, really good and affordable. Looks like it has really, really good protection. I haven't opened this yet, so uh, let's hope it arrives safely. I got that off. Looks like that's the top of the printer. I pulled this printer out. It's about uh, 40 pounds, I think. But there's something in the bottom of the box. Looks like it's the side paneling. Now let's see what this can do. I'm pretty sure I tear all this plastic off, so uh, let me cut to that. Here's a little update. I got the plastic off. It was quite easy. Uh, I think I need to ch change the voltage. To change the voltage, because this is a, you know, a universal device used in many other countries, I think I need to go to the bottom of the device. I don't know if you can read this label, but it says it's already been set up, so I'm going to trust it, and uh, hopefully it's set to US power. Let's start unwrapping this. It does look like it came in perfect condition, so I give props to this packaging. It was uh, free with Prime, so it's actually a good deal, because you don't need to pay for shipping, and... Uh, it arrives really, really well. I really do love enclosed printers. They look, uh, look quite stylish. Okay, I removed basically everything on the top, but one thing to note, uh, the stickers that I removed, the stickers are just terrible quality. Um, so they really leave something, some residue onto the printer, which is not like a problem at all. It just kind of looks bad because I'm, you know, I really do care about looks, but it's okay. Just one thing to note. The cool thing about the Quiddy printers is the spool holder comes out of the printer. So let me show you how this baggage thing kind of works. It works just like that. So the spool sits right here. I'll show you what it looks like soon. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, there's a lot to deal with. So let's, uh, let's pick up the, you know, shipping material. Here's the build plate inside the printer. So... I have two of them in case one gets really worn down. I suggest you do the same. You know, keep them clean as, as is. I suggest getting some pliers, which I'm gonna go get right now because uh, this big zip tie you need to cut, it's impossible to cut with scissors. Look at how big this zip tie is. Like, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a lot. Don't forget to remove these uh, little, little cables before you start printing. I'm just doing this right now. Um, yeah. Foam's out, time for the other side. I haven't done any instructions because I'm just that kind of guy, but uh, I'm doing pretty good so far. Okay, I took everything off. There was uh, other pins, so watch out on the other access, but now this is free to move, which is nice. The amount of zip ties that they use in this printer is just crazy, so make sure you take off every single zip tie until you, you know, open stuff up. But I'm doing some really, really good progress. I mean, like, just look at this. Like, uh, the zip ties are just enormously big. See, here's the problem that I'm running into. I can't get the power cord out, right? So basically, I have to lift this up um, to get the rest of the materials, but the power cord is under here. I can't, you know, get it out. So I might just need to rip the foam out because I can't put it on the table and connect the power until I lift this up and have the power cord. So watch out for that when you get this. I did do what I said. I ripped out the power cord. It's pretty easy, but um, 
Yeah, let's move it to the table. Okay, it's there. Now let's just plug it in. Here we go. Okay, let me uh demonstrate through some settings. Okay, I'm gonna go to language, English. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Looks like everything is good. Now time to talk about the Wi-Fi. Actually, no, let's just wait. Let's lift up the build plate. Okay, I ran into a bit of an issue. As you can see, I have it set up now and it looks really, really sleek. But basically these bearings, they were in the middle and I don't think they were supposed to be there. Basically what happens is I couldn't, you know, make the build plate go higher because these bearings were stopping it. So I had to actually cut through the foam to, you know, uh, get it started. Um, but yeah, I eventually got it started, but that could be a problem for you. So I just wanted to let you know. It is possible to get through it though. Now that that's done, let's check how to do the filament. It comes with a very, very small spool and it's heating up right now. It goes up to 220 and you click the preheat button. Now it's sucking it in and then it spits it out. Okay, everything's set up and I'm printing the test file. That's how quick you can get your Quiddy set up easy. Uh, if you don't have any issues like me, but it only took like 45 minutes and it's already printing. Um, I will get back to you with the results of this print. Everything's set and now I'm going to be printing something really, really good. The good old Benchy. I printed this, which is the test model that comes with the printer, but I don't really understand how this is a good test model. So I'll clock back in when this is done and I'll show you how the results printed and if you should get this printer. The Benchy's done, and it took a, looks like an hour and 35 minutes. It's nice that the, it says that, but it looks promising. This Benchy looks very, very good. If you look at this, uh, it looks really good. The layers are pretty good. There's no signs of ghosting, overhangs. Overall, for a printer that's 400 bucks and comes in a closed space, it looks really nice. I'm printing another item, and... It's going really, really quick. I already got these two with the PLA included into the box. And it's doing really, really good. I've printed a lot on this printer. I've printed a soap stand. I've printed a fidget cube, some home decor, some test prints, and now I'm printing a crystal dragon. I'll check in later once everything's done, and I'll give you a rundown if you should get this printer. All right, let's get to it. Uh, let me give you your little explanation. Um, this printer is great. Um, this is the two month update. I've not uh, not finished this video, so uh, here's the stats. Uh, overall, this printer is pretty good for 400 bucks. Um, there hasn't been any major issues. Um, I'll explain the issues that I've had so far in a moment, but uh, overall, this printer is pretty good. Um, I would suggest only PLA. Um, and yeah, uh, let's get to the issues of this printer. This printer doesn't have many issues, um, except for the, you know, starting up process, which was totally my fault. Um, when I couldn't get the build plate up, I was being stupid and didn't read the manual because that's how I am. Um, these little things are supposed to be raised up. Uh, you have to unscrew those. So just, you know, forget all the stuff that I've said, uh, with those. It's actually pretty simple. If you follow the instructions, I'm just kind of stupid. But the only major problem I have with this is um, the build plate. This build plate is basically good for about three days. And then um, then problems start to occur. I just popped that uh, reptile hide right off the build plate. And it's very nice. This is what I sell in my shop. Um, but like uh, the 3D printer build plate is uh, not doing so good. One of the only pros that I uh, view with this build plate is it's magnetic. So who doesn't love a magnetic build plate that you can just pop prints off very, very easily. Um, but here's the problem. It's actually, it holds onto the prints too much. So basically when I started off, I had to really scrape off all the, you know, sticky stuff onto the build plate. So all that's kind of gone now. And every single time I print, glue sticks are necessary. And that makes the build plate just terrible. So yeah. But except for that, this is a very sleek printer. Uh, it looks good, in my opinion. 
everything's working quite well. Um, I don't get the same quality prints that I do on um, my other Quiddy printer, but that's expected because this is 400 bucks. So, you know, for a beginner, uh, this is a great printer. Um, I mean, yeah, setup's quick, and the quality prints are pretty good. Also, if you're gonna get a printer with an open top like this, I highly suggest a Amazon Blink camera. These are like 20 bucks and you can monitor your prints. You can't stop it, but you can monitor them if you're worried about that. But uh, yeah, that's a really, really good accessory for these kind of printers. Um, but overall, great printer. If you don't wanna spend $400 on a printer or $700 like my other printer, uh, go to me on my Etsy shop. Let me show you uh, how this works. And uh, like, I'll show you the behind the scenes, I guess. This is just a small selection of what I offer on my Etsy shop. I got tons of designs. I got playful ones, you know, uh, foot long dragon. Really cool. That was printed on this printer, by the way. Um, it's up on my shop right now. Um, I take pictures in that right over there. So, you know, behind the scenes again. Um, I got, you know, all this stuff. This was the first test print on that. Um, Benchy. Uh, we got some trees. We got some models of Teton National Park that was printed on my other printer. Look at how good the detail is. Um, if you're, I got a phone accessory. We have a lot, um, and I do it all by myself. So if you want to support me, go to this. My shop's called TG2 Shop on Etsy. I got five stars. Trust me, I'm reliable. Um, we got a bunch of other stuff that I did not mention. Um, pictures are great. I guarantee you the quality will be great. And, uh, just check it out, honestly. Um, you know, help, help a small business out. Also, if you wouldn't mind, uh, drop a subscribe on this channel. It seems kind of cringy, but, uh, it helps me get more money, um, for my college. So, yeah, it's nice. If you made it this far, you're probably one of the lucky few watching this video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching fully. I hope this kind of helped. Um, if you want to learn more about 3D printing and uh, business, uh, subscribe to my channel, like I said. Um, look at my uh, 3D printing shop. That's going to be linked in the description below. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Quiddy iMates. Great printer overall um, for an affordable price. Um, I mean, this is great. So uh, just let me know if you like it.